Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. A search is underway for Acting Deputy Commissioner at the Department of Correctional Services, Reverend Orville Moore, who has been missing since Monday. It's reported that Mr. Moore was last seen driving from a relative's home off Malines Road in St. Andrew on Monday morning. Weldon Limited, Usain Bolt's company that's allegedly been fleeced of almost $2 billion in an alleged fraud at Stocks and Securities Limited, is seeking a court order for accused Jean Ann Panton to disclose whether she has been moving assets at two of Jamaica's banks. Mr. Bolt's attorneys want the order to bolster a freezing order they obtained against Ms. Panton's assets in February. The police are investigating last night's shooting death of Constable Damien Blair, allegedly by his wife, during a domestic dispute in Somerset District in Manchester. The woman allegedly attempted to commit suicide and is in hospital nursing injuries. Former Army Chief Dr. Rocky Mead will be paid $10 million per annum under a two-year contract as Director for National Strategic Initiatives with a direct report line to Prime Minister Andrew Holness. The basic pre-tax salary of $10 million yearly, or about $844,000 monthly, is well below the average monthly salary of approximately $1.8 million that he received for most of the 24-month period before his retirement as head of the JDF in January 2022. In sports, national striker Khadija Shaw will remain at Manchester City Football Club after signing a two-year extension with the organization. In your currency trading, at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $155.31, the British pound sterling for $194.21, and the Canadian dollar for $114.54. In your weather forecast, Wednesday will be cloudy with periods of showers and thunderstorms across the island. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and like, comment, and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.